Only PDB can defeat APC in Southwest Okoa. Campaigns in religious places are a violation of electoral act at home. The girls' residents are in forbidding electricity worker. Businesses face crunch as CBN raises rates to 15.5%. Only PDP can defeat APC in Southwest Okoa. The vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, who is also the Delta State Governor in Fanyi Okoa, says the People's Democratic Party is the only party that can be the ruling or progressive Congress in the Southwest Zone. He made the declaration at the People's Democratic Party Southeast Zonal Stakeholders Meeting in Enugu on Tuesday. He said the present electoral trajectory showed that the People's Democratic Party had the requisite strength and capacity to win the 2023 general elections in the six geopolitical zones. The presidential running may said the presence of other political parties will be felt in few places during the elections and diminish afterwards. Okoa said the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate Al Aji Atiku Abubaka has the solution to Nigerians' many problems because of his vast knowledge, experience, and capacity. Campaigns in religious places are a violation of Electoral Act Adjulo. A constitutional lawyer, Mr. Kayo Adjulo, has won Nigerian politicians and political parties against disobeying the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022, especially regarding the conduct of campaigns ahead of the 2023 general elections. Adjulo reminded candidates contesting various positions in the forthcoming elections by the virtue of the Electoral Act provision, a lot of restrictions have been placed to prevent the usual electoral malpractices that even start from the period of campaign. He said that palaces are public founded places and must not be used as campaign ground, adding that such flagrant disobedience to the electoral law would come with consequences. The constitutional lawyer, while quoting relevant sections, said Section 92 of the Electoral Act 2022 provides for a prohibition of certain conduct at political campaigns. Adula also said that certain conduct at political campaigns had been expanded to include political parties, candidates, and even aspirants who were previously not included. This, he said, include mandatory provision that a political campaign or slogan shall not be tainted with abusive language, directly or indirectly, likely to injure religious, ethnic, tribal, or sectional feelings. He said that places designated for religious worship, police stations, and public offices shall not be used for political campaigns. Others include rallies and processions or to promote, propagate, or attack political parties, candidates, or their programs or ideologies. He said that a credible election remained the basis for conferring legitimacy on any government in a democratic dispensation. As the campaign stakeholder, the stage is set for parties and their candidates to take the battle to the territories of their opponents while making efforts to consolidate their foothold on their individual base. Lagos residents are in for beating electricity worker. The Lagos State Police Command on Tuesday arraigned two residents of Orile Okoba in the Agege area of the state before an Ogba magistrate court for allegedly assaulting an official of the electricity distribution company Ikeja Electric. The men were charged with four counts of assault and causing breach of public peace. Businesses face crunch as CBN raises rates to 15.5%. In consideration of the galloping global and local inflationary levels, the Monetary Policy Meet Committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria on Tuesday raised the benchmark interest from 14 to 15.5%. This represents a 150 basis point increase from the 14% rate voted during the last Monetary Policy Committee meeting in July. This is the third time the Apex Bank will be raising the Monetary Policy rate, which is the same as the benchmark interest rate in five months. Follow us every day on Wisdom Jazz Online TV for news updates. I am Odele Kimufi, follower.